Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching for this video. I'm gonna talk to you guys about the Regal Theaters Unlimited Subscription. All right, so the official name is the Regal Unlimited Movie Subscription Pass. And it's something that you can add to the Regal Crown Club which uh, it's a membership that gives you points when you go to the movies, when you buy concessions. So the Regal Unlimited subscription basically allows you to watch as many movies as you want, as many times as you want, whenever you want, wherever you want. Some of the perks include 10% off food and non-alcoholic drink purchases. There's no blackout dates. There's free large popcorn and soft drink on your birthday. You can continue to earn a Regal Crown Club credits anytime that you go to the concessions. They also offer Regal Unlimited screenings. There's three plans that you can choose to pay monthly or annually. Annually. The first one is the Regal Unlimited, which is $18 a month. The next one is Regal Unlimited Plus, which adds 400 additional theaters to the program. And the top tier is the Regal Unlimited All Access, and that's basically all Regal theaters you have access to. Any theaters that aren't on your plan, you need to pay a surcharge on. In my case, all the theaters here in Hawaii are on the uh, Regal Unlimited Plus program. So the best plan if you're here in Hawaii is uh, Unlimited Plus because otherwise you would end up paying a surcharge on all the theaters you go to since they're all in the same plan. The three main eligibility requirements is that you have to be an individual. So you can't be a group, you can't be a company. Also, you must be 16 years old. If you're younger than that, you're going to have to uh, have your parents sign some kind of a consent form and you have to be able to use your mobile app. So that's where you manage your account that's where you reserve tickets so using the app is a requirement and the top three restrictions is that it's non-transferable so nobody other than me can use my subscription it's only good for one person so even though i have two girls that i go to the movies with uh, i can only use my subscription for mine and i would have to make a subscription for each of them if i want them to have uh, free movies and they don't consider it a proof of age so if you're a senior or if you're a student uh, then that doesn't let them know uh, that, that that's the category you're in. But it doesn't really matter since the tickets are pretty much covered under the program. But it does matter if it's an R-rated movie and then you're 16 years old, you have to have an actual ID card to show them. And some of the ways that you can use this is you can reserve seats right on the app. The max amount of reservations that you can have at one time are three. So if you're not at the theater and you're trying to reserve your seats for uh, movies, the max you can have is three on your phone. Now you can also go to the box office and have them scan your code, uh, but you can only get one ticket at a time. You can watch the same movie as many times as you want, but you can only have one ticket per showing. So you can't have two tickets for the exact same show. If you want to watch the same movie, you have to go watch the first one and then go back to the box office or reserve a ticket and then watch it again. Uh, for a different time. You could also watch as many different movies as you want, but they can't overlap. So if this movie starts at this time and there's another movie that overlaps it, you can't get a ticket for that. You have to get the next showing that doesn't overlap the first movie. And some movies like 3D movies or 4D movies, IMAX movies, those types of movies require a surcharge. So it could be a dollar and 50 cents, or it could be more depending on the difference of the price. But most of the movies that are just standard showings are completely free included in the subscription. I'll make sure I'll put the link below for the frequently asked questions. So if you still have questions after this video, just make sure you click on that and it explains everything. So I personally started using the subscription back in October. In November, I watched six movies, which uh, I paid $21 for the subscription. So that means that's all I had to pay for. But if I didn't have the subscription and I watched the same movies, that would have been over $75 that I paid uh, just to be able to watch the same movies that I watched for $21. So for me, that's a big deal because I always go to the movies. I like going to the movies by myself. So sometimes I prefer, but uh, other times there's movies that I would rather go with uh, like my girls or, uh, or my, my wife. I like going to random times. Whenever I have a gap in time from working, uh, I like going to the movie theaters and just going in the air conditioning, relax. It's my favorite thing to do. So when I realized that this program started, I was just, I couldn't believe that it wasn't available before, that nobody came up with that before. Because even though I'm sure there's people like me, they're gonna go multiple times in a month, that might overuse the membership. There's other people that are gonna go once or twice and just barely gonna break even. So I think that that's where the advantage is because even the ones that overuse the subscription by going to multiple movies either the same day or the same weekend, uh, they're most likely gonna buy something in the concessions. And really that's where the movie theater makes their money. So it makes sense for them to have more people in there by saving in the movies because they're, uh, essentially gonna be buying more concessions. Now, aside from being able to save money on going to the movies, I also kind of wanted to do some movie reviews. I did a few with my daughters already, but they really didn't turn out too great. 
so I want to uh, practice and be able to do uh, more reviews just because I love uh, going to the movies so much and a lot of the times I do get some good messages from movies so sometimes I feel like sharing that whether it's with my wife or you know just friends in general uh, but it'd be nice to be able to do some reviews for you guys. There are a couple of downsides uh, the main one being that the two closest theaters to my house are not part of the program. They're not uh, they're a different company altogether. So for me to be able to use this membership, I have to go to the uh, third farthest theater, uh, which isn't great, but that's also only about 15 minutes away, which for some people is nothing, uh, especially when you look at the rural towns or things like that. So I can't really complain about that too much. Plus a lot of the time, some of the chapels that I go shoot at and finish shooting at are close to the movie theaters that I can go to. And so normally that's when I get uh, gaps in time. So I finish shooting a wedding and I have two, three hours before I have to pick up the girls. So that's always the time that I can fit a movie in. The other downside is that I do go to the movies with my daughters a lot. Uh, the problem is that I don't go with them enough to justify having them have their own uh, subscriptions. Obviously they're restricted on some of the movies that they can watch. There aren't really a lot of kid-friendly movies coming out uh, as often. Plus, I also don't want to take them to the movies that much because that would have to be after school or in the weekends and it would just suck up our family time. Uh, so really once or twice a month is probably enough to take them. Uh, but I personally like going to the movies more often than that. It also means that when I do take them, I don't have to pay as much because I'm not paying for my ticket. Their ticket is obviously is cheaper because it's a child ticket. And so my main point being that even the drawbacks aren't really that bad. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.